Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wondered how to bring the power of your SAP data into Power BI for some game-changing analytics, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process for connecting Power BI to SAP. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to make the right connection, and you'll be able to start building insightful dashboards and reports using your SAP data. Let's dive straight in. The very first thing we need to do is download the right connection component for Microsoft Net. Think of this like setting up a bridge between Power BI and SAP. Without it, the two just can't talk to each other. To do this, head over to Microsoft's official website, search for the SAP connector for Net, and download the installer. It might seem a bit technical if you've never done it before, but don't worry. Just make sure you're downloading the version that matches both your system, like 32-bit or 64-bit, and the version of SAP you're working with. Run the installer and let it do its thing. This might take a few moments, but it's a crucial step, and you'll only need to do it once. Once your connection component is installed, fire up Power BI. If you've never opened Power BI before, don't worry, it'll start you on the home screen. This is the main hub where you'll find most tools and options for importing and visualizing data. Next, from the Home tab in Power BI, look towards the top left and click on Get Data. This button is your gateway to connecting Power BI with just about any data source out there, but today we're focusing on SAP. Clicking on this brings up a pop-up where you can choose your data source. In the search box at the top of this new window, type SAP. Now here you'll see a few different options showing up. They might look kind of similar, but don't just click the first one you see. Specifically, you'll notice there are three different SAP connectors available. For most SAP systems, you're going to want the second option in this list. This one is typically labeled something like SAP Business Warehouse Application Server, or it might have a similar name depending on your version of Power BI. It's the pick that works best for most standard SAP setups, especially if you're working with business warehouse data. Select that one, it makes a big difference. With your connector chosen, go ahead and hit connect. At this point, Power BI is going to prompt you for some credentials. This is just making sure you have the right permissions to access the SAP data you need. Here, carefully enter your SAP username and password. Double check this info, and if you're not sure what to use, your system admin should be able to help out. Remember, these credentials are just used to establish the connection. It's all about keeping your data secure. Once you've filled in your details, Power BI will go ahead and try to connect. As long as everything's set up correctly and you've followed each step, you should see your SAP data start appearing in Power BI. And that's it. You're now ready to start building visualizations, dashboards, and dynamic reports with your SAP data front and center. If any part of this feels a bit tricky, don't worry, that's normal, especially the first time around. Take your time, rewind if you need to, and you'll get the hang of it in no time. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, drop your questions or feedback in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to stay updated with more Power by Tutorials. Catch you in the next video.